So it's currently 4.51 a.m. and we're at the airport and it's time to have breakfast. So we have made it to the hotel. Um, the whole process to get into Berlin was relatively simple. You show them your passport, um, proof of vaccination or a negative test and then the passenger locator form and then you're in. It's I thought it was a relatively smooth process to get in. Um, so yeah, so now we're at the hotel, we've just unpacked and we're gonna walk around, see what the area is like and then grab some food and buy a new charger because I bought the wrong adapter. So that's good. <laughs> so I've got to go out and find a new one. Currently walking around and we have found the Berlin Cathedral and that's that thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> great tour guide so we are currently at museum island so this is the um berlin cathedral that we saw the back of earlier and i don't know what this building is ah there we go museum it's such a lovely area there's the canal so you can have like a nice walk around the canal and there's Joseph so a closer look at the cathedral so currently doing some construction and then this is the museum little fountain so Joe and I have just finished lunch we had a steak well I had a steak and Joe had this pork thing I don't even know what it's called and now we're having dessert I'm having a chocolate ice shake and Joe is having his usual Americano because he's boring. So Joe and I are at this uh, illustration museum and this is actually so trippy. Oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the hotel now but I just wanted to so show some photos that we've taken. So this just looks so cool. But I think it's meant to be upside down. So it kind of looks like you're hanging off the ceiling. And then we have where Joe is doing, well it's a bit not focusing, Joe's doing a massive handstand and I'm holding on to him. <laughs> and then these ones where we merged our faces even though it's not focusing so you can't really see. Ah. Oh yes, this one's my favourite photo of our merge. <laughs> this is what our child's going to look like. I know. <laughs> Tonight we are having Japanese food and Joe is having ramen. This one's a That's good. And this is what I'm having. So half of the sushi is mine and then the dragon roll here. Joe and I are sharing, but mm, looks good. So for dessert we have bubble tea. I just got the classic bubble tea and Joe wanted to try something different. So he got a what's it? Cranberry day. Bubble tea. And now we're just going back to the hotel. I'm just chill because we're actually exhausted from traveling today. It's day two of Berlin and the weather isn't the best. It's raining, but we're still sat outside having paninis, croissant, hot chocolates. So hopefully the weather gets <laughs> Currently in a um, newest, newest museum and we're in the Egyptian part. It's actually crazy how these artifacts have hold up, held up. Like the colours are still so vibrant. Like it's so cool. So this is a painting from a tomb. So pretty. So whenever we go to a museum, Joe likes to read every single thing in every exhibition. So I'm always walking around looking at things like, oh, this is cool. And then there's Joe still at the beginning. So after spending ages at the museum, because Joe wants to read every single thing there is, uh, we're finally having lunch and we're actually at this really nice Vietnamese restaurant. Um, we will eventually try German food, but we just love Asian food, so. And we found this really nice um, Vietnamese restaurant. So I thought, my try it out. So the food has arrived and wow these portions look huge. <laughs> this is Joe's 
pina curry. Um, we've got Vietnamese spring rolls and then I've got salmon with mango chili. Looks delish. I've never had salmon with mango curry before but this is actually the best thing I've had in a long time. And it's so cheap, it's only what? 750 euros this whole plate like look how big it is on the menu tonight we have Korean barbecue so we've got chicken oct octopus beef pork prawns and then they give you five sides so I'm excited so Joe and I are feeling very hungry and we're really enjoying this so we got second order of bulgogi beef <laughs> Because we're so fat, <laughs> and we also got second sides because we're honestly we're loving this. So this morning we're having a posh breakfast. I've got French toast, mushroom something, and eggs, and then Joe's got smoked salmon and pickled loads of other things. So yeah, looks mm. delish. So this is the best breakfast I've had in so long. I've got French toast. This. Creamy mushroom sauce, which is amazing. Mushroom soup. It basically, yeah, it tastes like mushroom soup, but it's so good. Um, and an egg, like I don't know what it. I've never had French toast before. This is my first experience with French toast, and I'm loving it. But it is absolutely chucking it down outside with rain. So hopefully, we'll just stay here and enjoy our breakfast, and then the rain goes. So the original plan for today was to go um, see the Reichstag, I think I said that right, Reichstag building and then walk around like the memorial and that area but a lot of it's outside and today as you can see it is raining and there's thunderstorms so we're currently on our way to the Sea Life Centre to see some fishies. So we're currently in a part of the aquarium where there's mirrors everywhere and I'm scared that we're gonna walk into something. Okay, that's a mirror. Okay, that was the worst aquarium I've ever experienced in my whole life. Uh, do not go to the aquarium in Berlin, um, the Sea Life Center, because we literally paid 19 euros each to get in, and then um, it doesn't tell you anywhere that a lot of the aquarium is actually closed. So we were out of there, I think 40 minutes, not even that. We take ages. And we take ages because Joe likes to read everything. I like, like to look at, look at the fish and whatnot. But honestly, don't go. Worst aquarium I've ever been to. And we've been to sea life centers all over Europe, really. Well, you make it sound like travel so much. No, we don't travel so much, but we love looking at fishes. So that was the worst aquarium ever. So I highly, highly do not recommend. Until the, or maybe it's a lot better when they open. But during the COVID pandemic, it it's not worth it, 19 euros each. So that was a waste of time. So this is the, um, what's it called? Brandenburg. Brandenburg Gate. It's a bit gloomy, you can't really see. And then all the way through, <laughs> all the way down there is that really tall thing. Victory thing. So we're currently at the Holocaust Memorial. Oh, it's actually. I thought they'd have names on them, but Joe said that a lot of the Jewish people who died, they didn't know the names of. So that's why it's just bare, with loads and loads of columns. They're actually really tall. Joe's on there. This is how tall they are. So Joe's 5'10". <laughs> so we made it to the Reichstag building, but um, I don't know whether it's because of COVID or what, but I don't think anyone's actually going inside. So we can't go inside today, but there's loads of security everywhere. Um, yeah, I think it's because of COVID. They probably weren't letting people in. But here it is. 
He's got to see the outside of it. <laughs> This is the Berlin Wall Victims um, Memorial where it shows you that bit there had pictures of all the victims who died trying to cross the Berlin Wall um, and then this bit and then this bit tells you this used to be the base of a tombstone which they had to move the, great, the tombstones so the wall could have been built so we are currently at um, Victoria Park and we found this nice waterfall in the middle of the park and now we are gonna go to that building up behind there so we are currently at the Prussian National Monument for the Liberation of Wars and it's such, I mean, minus the graffiti, but it's so beautiful. You can just see all the detail in that. And then, such a lovely, it's a massive park and you've got a great view of the city. It's so pretty. It's got a really nice view of the city. Ta-da! So we are finally trying some German food. So I've got Berlin style meatballs with mashed potato and veg. And then Joe's got other forms of meatballs. Um, don't really know what they are, but it's good. So today we are in Potsdam, which is another city about 35 minutes from Berlin by train. Um, we're currently walking to the palace. Um, and we're gonna go spend a couple of hours in the palace and then a few hours at the park and just make a nice little day trip out of it. That's such a nice area. Like the buildings are so quaint and I don't know, it just looks so cute around here. Definitely a lot quieter than Berlin. <laughs> but it's nice. So we have made it to the outside of the palace. So the little river going across. And this is the grounds of the palace. So the palaces are all at the top, up there. So we are about to go up the steps to the palace. There's about a hundred steps, so wish me luck. So this is the Chinese house. Let's see if you get closer look. So like I said, it's made out of gold. It's so pretty. Mm, it's temporarily closed at the moment, so you can't go inside. But outside still looks nice. So this is the other side of it. So much gold. And up, um, we just looked up the history of this and the guy who owns this place years and years ago basically just used it to grow his vegetables. So this is actually the new palace of where um, Frederick the Great stayed, I guess, compared to his old one. But even this area is so big. So we have found another part of the park and it's just ridiculous how big these buildings are you can't even it's not focusing so i don't know what this is but it's another huge building i don't know whether it's part of the park or not i'm finally trying the curry verse so i've got chips a giant sausage and loads of paprika on top so We'll see how it goes. So after a very disappointing lunch and a very annoying end to the day in Potsdam, um, Joe and I are at a Korean restaurant. So hopefully that um, cheers us up and we can have a nice end to the day. But that curry verse was just, it wasn't bad, but I just, I won't be ordering it again. I've got beef bulgogi and then Joe has spicy pork and we have um, corn and vegetable mandu which is fried dumpling. This already just looks better than curry verse, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Joe and I are currently at the airport. I don't know where you can hear me because I've got my mask on but we're flying back today so unfortunately we're leaving in Berlin but it was fun. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Man of many words. Um, but yeah, Berlin was really, really fun. And I'm glad we managed to finally get away after not travelling for nearly two years. So, yes, this is the end of the video.